A burette is a laboratory glassware used to dispense a solution in precise volumes. It is used primarily to dispense a titrant in the titration experiment. The first step in titration is to rinse the burette to make sure the burette is clean. Start rinsing the inside of the burette with distilled water. Secure the burette in the upright position using the burette clamp. Insert the funnel into the top of the burette. Fill approximately 5 to 10 ml of distilled water into the burette. Pour the distilled water in from the top of the burette using a filter funnel. Make sure that the stop cock is closed at the bottom. Turn the burette into horizontal position. The distilled water should then slowly flow towards the top of the burette. Holding this position, rotate the burette so that the distilled water covers the inner wall of the burette. After that, open the stopcock and discard the distilled water through the tip of the burette. Next, rinse the burette with the solution to be used. Rinse the burette the same way as rinsing it with distilled water. Fill only a third of the burette with the solution. Carefully hold the burette horizontally. Then Rotate the burette so that the entire inner surface is coated with the solution. Open the stopcock to allow the solution to drain out through the burette tip. The burette is already rinsed and ready to use. Clamp the burette vertically to a retort stand. Close the stopcock by turning the stopcock fully perpendicular to the burette. Now, fill the burette with the solution. Pour the solution in from the top using the filter funnel. Fill the burette to the top above the zero graduation mark. Be careful not to overfill the burette. Once the burette has been filled, remove the filter funnel from the burette. Place an empty beaker underneath the tip of the burette. Turn the stopcock so that the burette tip is filled with the solution. Check for air bubbles. Usually, there will be air bubbles trapped in the tip of the burette. Remove the air bubbles if there are any. Turn the stopcock to allow the solution flow through the tip of the burette. Turn the stopcock all the way and let the solution push the bubbles out. Once the air bubbles have been removed, the burette is ready for titration. Now, record the initial reading at the top of the burette. To measure the volume of the solution, Make sure to read the level at the bottom of meniscus at eye level. 
record the initial reading to two decimal places. The initial reading not necessarily to be exactly 0 ml. Any value below or near 0 is accepted. After the experiment, the amount of solution in the burette has changed with the final volume of the solution. The volume of the solution used in the experiment is the difference between these two readings.